We've done a lot of reviews on clear ice makers in this channel, but today we're putting them all to the test against the Claris Clear Ice Maker. Stay frozen in your seats because it's gonna get cold. <laughs> Essentially, all legitimate clear ice makers work in the same way. They use directional freezing, which means that they freeze from top to bottom or from bottom to top. If you want to learn more about this method, you can read about it in the book appropriately titled The Iceberg. It was written by the person who popularized this method of freezing back in 2009, Camper English. Camper states that whenever we use this method of freezing, similar to how a pond or a lake freezes, the ice will tend to form a clarity as it pushes trapped air and impurities away from the point of freezing. So with that in mind, let's freeze some water. So we're gonna add about an inch and a half of regular room temperature distilled water, and then add some warm water. Because the cooler is insulated on its sides and on the bottom, the warm water is gonna stay warm on the bottom, forcing the directional freezing from top to bottom. Add some distilled water, about an inch and a half. Now we're gonna come at it with some hot water. So we're trying to get about four to four and a half inches of water because we're gonna end up cutting the bottom portion of this due to all of the impurities being trapped there. Oh yeah. Now that we've poured everything in here, what we can do is throw it in our freezer. Good night, sweet prince. Let's go ahead and prep the rest of these guys. These products all function in the same way as a cooler method, with the difference being that they use molds, so there's no need to cut a giant ice block, which I'm sure is gonna be a lot of fun once it's done freezing. First up, it's go, 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 ghost ice. The Ghost Ice makes 12 cubes, takes up as much space as your old dusty cooler, if not a little less, has a 30 to 48 hour freezing time and costs about 147 bucks. This is the product that takes the longest to freeze in comparison to the rest of these products. Same principle as the last one. The only difference being that this guy comes with a handy dandy silicone mold. Has little holes in the bottom so that you can go ahead and put it on, press it down, let the water fill up these molds and then toss it in the freezer. Now another thing is you want to press from the sides, push it in. Let's just go on and get this guy next to our old daddy's cooler. Another highly ranked product from Amazon is the Clearly Frozen. This unit looks the most different because it is surrounded by foam and not the plastic casing. This was priced competitively to the True Ice at $39.99 on Amazon. This guy is made up of three parts. You got your silicone mold, you got this plastic sleeve, and then you've got your foam sleeve. You put this guy in here, ooh, satisfying. They do state in their instructions that you should fill it two inches from the top. So now what you do is you insert this guy in here and you very gently push down. That's not enough water. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this in the freezer for 16 to 18 hours. To make sure he's nice and comfy. Next is the True Ice. It makes four ice cubes and is slightly smaller than some of the other products. It has an 18 to 20 hour freezing time and we got this for $36 on sale at Amazon. We have an insulated jacket, which is pretty cool. And then we have these two other parts. There is a fill line that's marked in here. The way that this works is you put this over this guy right here and you push down just a little bit, make sure everything's aligned and we fill this guy up with water. Now we just let it hang out. Next up is the Claris. The Claris is a premium countertop ice maker that can produce four two by two inch ice cubes within eight to 10 hours. That's a lickety split. Their claim is that by having total control over the freezing process, you can make the most ultra pure, visually clear ice with ease so that you can sit back, relax, and sip your drinks without a care in the world. Now, obviously the design behind this is a very smart. Living in a small apartment, real estate in the fridge, I'd rather use some counter space. Compared to our friends in the freezer, who tend to have the water in the bottom, because again, directional freezing, they freeze from top to bottom. This guy freezes from bottom to top, which means that the end result is gonna have some water on top. Don't be alarmed, that does not mean that your water didn't freeze correctly. Underneath all of that watery water is some not so watery water. You simply open up the lid, and on the inside, you're gonna have a plastic mold. Again, a lot of silicone molds. There is a filling line in there that helps you, guides you, and we fill it up with some water. They include these two inserts that go on the inside. This is supposed to make the removal of these ice cubes a lot easier. Now with something blunt, go ahead and press down on each of these silicone molds so that they sit flush with the bottom. Now we're ready to close the lid on this bad boy. Hit the button. Now we just wait our eight to 10 hours and see if our ice cubes come out. Zero hours and zero minutes of chilling. Do not open. Don't disturb, it's working. 
yeah, it's working. Last but not least, we're gonna show you this clear circle ice maker. It's under $20 at Amazon, makes two spheres, and has a clever silicone mold for keeping the ice spherical. We have another silicone mold, plastic casing, pretty simple. What we do is fill it up to the filling line right here. Oh yeah. Now what we do is just put this little plastic mold, punch it right in there. Pick this guy up and very carefully take it over here. Let's go ahead and slide this. Nothing wrong with a little spittle. All right, everybody's in the freezer. We're gonna let them hang out. We'll be back tomorrow. Now let's check out dad's cooler from the 80s. Will it be a smashing success? Look at that big old block ice cube. A lot of drinks can be made with this big old ice cube out here. You're gonna be daddy proud. You're gonna be daddy proud. All right, it feels like what's been an eternity with this guy. We've let it thaw out for as long as it needs to be thawed out for. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this guy over and see what it gives us. Don't let its appearance mislead you. Probably still just a little frosty. However, you can tell that there is a huge cloud right about here on top. Just the impurities of the way it froze. It was freezing from top to bottom. Right now, we're looking at the bottom. This is the bottom right here. We put it on for the weekend. It's probably a little bit too long, so let's go ahead and saw the cubes out of this guy and see what kind of cubes it makes for us. I'm not applying a whole lot of pressure onto this. I am letting the saw do most of the work for me. But what you wanna do is score all of the sides so that it's easier to cut off. So now that we have a scoring, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an ice pick, put it on the scored sections of the cube and hammer it to get a split. Imagine having to do this when you know you have guests coming over. Dude, your stuff is just not gonna be ready. I already regret this decision. What I wanna drive home is that cutting ice like this takes a certain level of expertise. I clearly don't have that expertise, but this just takes a long time to master. You know, it's not something that you can pick up on a weekend and, and try to do on your own. I mean, you totally can. More power to you if this is something that you like to do. But that's why products like the Ghost Dice, the Claris, the true ice maker, the clearly frozen. All of those guys are trying to make your life easier to not have to do this. One of the last steps that we have to do is consider the glass that we're gonna put our ice in. Let's take our old fashioned glass here and more or less just kind of throw it on there. There's a ring right here that lets me know more or less the size of cube that I need. So now what we have to do is continue sawing this guy. So what we're gonna do now is cut this block of ice in half so that it can be uniform in shape. We're still at it with this fucking ice cube. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, now we are filming, so this took me about 30 minutes, but maybe if you have the expertise that I don't have, then you know for sure you're gonna be a lot quicker at it than I am. Let's just be real, it's a lot of work. Looking at it though, I am pretty proud that I was able to make this on my own. Uh, it is pretty fun, I guess, if you're into that kind of stuff. One of the glaring issues for me is that I do hope that it fits in my glass. We did do the proper measurements, but the ultimate test is putting it in the glass and putting some liquid in it and see how it holds up. It's hanging out with all of the garnishes. It's looking pretty good. It smells great. With all of that being said, I still don't think it's fucking worth it. Let's check out our ghost ice. Don't be jealous, because it's a little cooler. So let's try to extract some ice from this guy. As per instructions by the manufacturer, you pull on each corner to loosen it. One, that's, it. that's very easy. Now, we did have it sitting out for a minute. You're supposed to let this guy thaw out for just a little bit before you use it. At least 15 minutes for it to thaw. That was very easy. I'm actually very surprised by that. Oh yeah. Doesn't that look cool? So now what we gotta do is flip this guy over and push these guys out. We didn't even have to push. Pushing? We are past that. Flip this guy up. Beautiful, that was easy. Astonished, this thing did all the work for me. I am tempted to pick up the guy that's the tallest. Uh, however, I am also noticing that it's probably the cloudiest. Very cloudy boy. However, these guys right here, beautiful looking ice cube. It does have this little notch here because of the mold. That is one thing that I'm gonna have to live with. The rest of these are great. The rest of these are looking really, really good. There are some that are smaller than others. Our chest freezer was really, really full in there. So that attributes to why our cubes are in different sizes. Our cooler was sitting at an angle. I'm not gonna knock it on that. You know, the quality of the ice is still great. I'd rather have three really poopy looking ice cubes than have the rest of these looking really, really good. So let's make a drink. 
Tesla. Let's just do a little plappy poo. First impressions, ice cube's pretty clear. It's actually really clear. It's looking really good. It sticks out, but I like it. Again, I like the little nestling of the cherry on top, but you know what? That's probably a once in a lifetime opportunity. The clarity is great. The extracting these ice cubes, phenomenal. Very easy. You saw how not messy it was. Cleanup is very, very quick, very, very easy. Okay, here we have the true cubes. It's been 18 to 22 hours. Let's go ahead and take these guys out and see what they look like. We're supposed to take both molds off, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm trying to do from every corner. Oh. Now, what we have left to do is remove this mold from the bottom mold. I'm just gonna roll it down, flip it over, push out maybe, just keep pulling. Come on, come on. There it is. So don't be alarmed, these aren't the cubes that you're looking for. All of the impurities were left behind being all of this stuff. Let's get the real cubes. The instructions say to give it the old, you know, ice tray shakeroo. So let's do that. They are not breaking easily. There it is. Oh yes. These are the cubes you're looking for. And they are looking a little frosty. One thing that I am noticing about these guys is they are very cubed. Let's see how they do in a drink. The glass is a little frosty, however, the ice also is not very visible, which is what we're looking for. We don't want to see a whole lot of the ice. We don't want to see any impurities in there. And this is a very impressive ice cube. It's very uniform, it's very cubed. I like how it's almost barely peeking out from the top of the kind of set it and forget it mentality of putting water in inside a cooler, putting it in the freezer, letting it hang out there for a while, and then coming out with something that's as uniform as this is is very good. If this was given to me either at a get together or at a bar somewhere, the ice cube would be perfect for me. It's a very exceptional looking ice cube and I am very happy with the results. So now we have a simple taste. It's been sitting in there along with the other guys and uh, it's time to extract it. So now all we gotta do is split this guy open and we have our teaspoon. It's pretty cloudy, but again, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and just subject that to it being frosty. It's still cold, but it's not perfectly sphere. You can see that there's a little guy right there. There's maybe another little guy right here. They have the little nubs from the molds. They got these little nubs right here. You can barely see them. Let's go ahead and make a drink. Well, first impressions is obviously it's still pretty cloudy. I do like the idea of having a sphere for an ice cube, having a sphere on a spherical ice. The more I look at this, the more I'm like, well, there's a lot of things that could have probably gone wrong with this. One of the things that sticks out to me the most is because of how small these molds are and how small the holes are, that could have led to all of the impurities staying in the sphere. That's something that's definitely gonna be showing up. It's still gonna keep your drink cold, so is it getting the job done? Sure. At the same time, the job that it's trying to do is make some clear ice, and this is clearly not clear. What I would recommend to avoid such cloudiness from forming is to use some really warm water. It might increase your chances of getting a clearer ice. One stands tall. So now we have it clearly frozen. Let's try to take these ice cubes out of here and see what they're made out of. Water, water. Now we got this big boy here. We gotta figure out how we're gonna take all of this off. I pick, I pick, I pick. There it goes. Brutal. I'm gonna do the, you know, the extraction method, see if that works. Dude, wow, it's like a dream. Don't fail me now. Oh. These guys are obviously still kind of frosty, but you can also see on its side that it's looking pretty good, very promising. There you have it. Looks great. There is a lot of clarity in this ice cube. I'm very happy with it, very impressed. There is a little bit of unevenness up top. Cube is not super straight. Well, the clarity is very good, very impressive. Uh, there are little bits and pieces here that you can still see. Something that you really have to be looking for. It was pretty easy to extract. The only thing that kind of sucked about it was having to break 
the ice off of the bottom. Although very fun, makes a lot of mess. Very happy with the result. All right, so it's been about nine hours. This does hold your ice for an additional six hours after it's done. So after that six hour mark, remember to take your ice out because this unit will shut off and melt your ice. Let's dig in. You are gonna get some water up top. It doesn't look like there's anything in there, which it's a good thing. It, that means that your ice is really, really clear. So let's go ahead and take this mold out and dump the water out into the sink. This is very flexible. So you just push up. You can hear these ice cubes ready, wanting to come out. And you can use the plastic to kind of fish it out. Look at these beautiful boys. They're very, very clear. I am very pleased with the way that these came out. It's gonna look amazing in an old fashioned. Very easy, set it and forget it. Leave it in there and when you come back to check on them, they're gonna be ready to go. The extraction was great, it was a very easy process. Well, there you have it folks. It's very clear, you can't see it. You can see that the cherry is floating on top. That's pretty cool. And this old fashioned looks Fantastic. If this was served to me in a bar, I would be very impressed and very pleased with the way it looked. All right, y'all, so there you have it. We've gone all the way from the Camper English old school method of doing ice all the way to the most advanced technology available today, the Claris Tabletop Clear Ice Maker. Let's go ahead and rank these guys. We're gonna judge on shape, clarity, and ease of use. Okay, so coming in at last place, it's gonna be the cooler. You saw how much I struggled to cut the ice. Hey, if you have the passion for it, and if you have the flexibility and time for it, then you can totally go ahead and go with this method. It is a lot more cost effective than the rest of these products, but it's a total pain in the ass. For ease of use, I'm gonna give this a one out of 10. We saw how much of a pain it was to cut these ice cubes. Totally not worth the time. For clarity, I'm gonna go nine out of 10. Camper English is right. You can totally get clear ice cubes using this method. For shape, I'm gonna give this a two out of 10 simply because I don't have the experience. However, if you do, you can totally get a 10 out of 10 shape out of this method. Coming in at fifth place is our simple taste. This guy right here. For ease of use, I am gonna give this a six out of 10. Because of how small it is, you are gonna to have to be refilling this a lot more often in order to get that bulk amount of ice that you're looking for. You only get two spheres per batch. So that's gonna hold you back if you wanna make a large amount of ice cubes. For clarity, I am gonna give this a five out of 10. There were some spots that were clear. However, for the most part, they were pretty cloudy. And the point of this is to make some clear ice. This just did not deliver. For shape, I am gonna give this an eight out of 10. Some of these spheres did have little notches on them. They had a little bit of some irregularity going on. At fourth place, we have clearly frozen. For ease of use, we're gonna give it a seven out of 10. It is very similar to the cooler method in the sense that you still have to break that big block of ice cube. However, once you're past that, you can just do that simple ice cracking method and it'll be good to go. For clarity, we are gonna give them an eight out of 10. There were some imperfections in there. However, it is something that you have to be looking for in order to find them. For shape, we are gonna give this a six and a half out of 10. There was that really tall ice cube and the rest of them were just very different height. Sharing the podium at the number three spot, we have the ghost ice. For ease of use, I am gonna give this a seven out of 10. It's very similar to the Clearly Frozen in the sense that you still have a big block of ice cube to take care of. But again, you can crack this open like these old ice cubes that we used to have, and it makes more than the Clearly Frozen. For clarity, I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. The ice cubes were damn near perfect. There were very minute, very small imperfections, something that you absolutely have to look for. So don't be that guy, don't look for it. For shape, we're gonna give these guys an eight out of 10. They do have a little notch in the bottom. It's something that you either love or you hate. If you're a purist and you wanna have a cube that's flat on all sides, this isn't gonna give it to you, so keep that in mind. Coming in with a silver medal is gonna be the True Ice. For ease of use, we are gonna give it a seven out of 10. Because of how small it is, you are gonna to have to be filling it up a little more often to get a larger batch of ice cubes. But on the opposite side of that coin, it does take up less space in your freezer. For clarity, it gets a nine out of 10. Even though there were a few striations in the cube, it wasn't a big deal. They were very near perfect. For shape, they get a 10 out of 10. They were basically perfect squares. And at number one, we all saw it coming from a mile away. Come on, let's be real here. It's a machine. It connects to electricity. It like has its own brain. I already have to use my brain other than just pressing the top button and it's like, it just starts working. It works. Don't you just love it when something just works? Coming in at the gold medal, the number one spot, the Claris Clear Ice Maker. Yes, this comes at a premium, but it delivers. For ease of use, this gets a nine out of 10. It's got a very set it and forget it mentality. It makes ice very quick and it doesn't take up any freezer space. However, it does only make four ice cubes, so if you have a get together or a party, you're gonna have to batch beforehand. For clarity, it gets a 10 out of 10. It was a perfectly clear ice cube and it looked great in a cocktail. For shape, we're gonna give this a nine out of 10. 
The sides and bottom were perfectly flat with the exception of the top, so they did have a bit of a slant. So there you have it, the Claris was number one, but if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, there are a variety of other products that can make ice for you reliably. Thank you guys for tuning in. I had a lot of fun reviewing these products for you. If you'd like to see more content like this, let us know in the comment section below. And if you've tried any other methods of making ice, let us know too, we'd like to find out. Cheers.